Weathering the Storm, English and Natural Disasters. Hello, English learners from all over the world. Today, we're diving deep into a very pertinent topic, natural disasters and how they relate to emergency preparedness. We'll not only enhance our English vocabulary, but also gain insights into how English-speaking nations respond to environmental challenges. Let's weather this storm together. When we talk about natural disasters, we refer to catastrophic events caused by environmental factors. Here are some common ones in English-speaking countries. Hurricanes. These are strong wind storms that form over the ocean. Tornadoes. Funnel-shaped storms with strong winds that can cause significant damage. Floods. Caused by prolonged heavy rainfall or melting snow, leading to overflowing water in areas. Wildfires. Large fires that spread quickly, often in wooded or grassy areas. Earthquakes. Sudden shaking of the ground due to tectonic plate movements. In the face of these disasters, preparedness is crucial. Here are some terms to understand. Evacuation. Leaving a place to escape danger. Emergency kit. A collection of items needed in case of an emergency, like water, food, flashlight, and medicine. Shelter. A safe place to stay during or after a disaster. Warning system. A system that informs the public about an impending disaster. First aid. Basic medical care given right after an injury. Different countries have varied responses to natural disasters. Let's look at some. USA. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, assists citizens during and after disasters. Australia. The country frequently faces bushfires. Communities have developed fire plans and use apps to stay updated. UK. While not often hit by extreme weather, the UK has flood warnings and emergency services to aid in such events. Canada. With its vast landscape, Canada has a mix of issues from wildfires to floods. Emergency Management Canada helps coordinate responses. Here are some phrases you might hear in relation to natural disasters and preparedness. Batten down the hatches. Prepare for trouble. It's just the calm before the storm. A quiet period before a period of trouble or intensity. We're not out of the woods yet. The situation is still ongoing or not completely resolved. Ride out the storm. Endure a challenging period. Understanding the language of natural disasters and preparedness not only helps in enhancing your English but can also be life-saving in certain situations. Remember, language is more than words. It's about connecting with cultures and situations. Stay safe and keep learning. We hope this video has shed light on a critical topic while improving your English vocabulary.